The Unlock Project is piloting the way people use the collections and are inspired by the objects at Colchester and Ipswich Museum Service. We're getting the objects out into the communities and we're working with our arts and university partners to do that. We're also getting our objects online and we're doing that through Pinterest, Facebook and Twitter. We're working with a fantastic group of nine amazing young dancers uh, and we've been creating a piece based on some artefacts from the Charles Partridge collection over four sessions and we've made a piece which is entirely choreographed by these nine children, many of whom have never danced before. It's amazing. Yeah. People work together, they're married, uh, they engage. It's been really cool and I really liked making our routines and dances. I think that objects are a wonderful way to start story. It's a great way to elicit response without judgment. Using a puppet means that the children are encouraged by her questioning and to look at things in a different way. I can see somebody's face. And, and what are those? And that you one's like, like a duck. A duck? Looks like a mm, troll. It's a smart star. When you work with under fives in, in a museum context, there are all sorts of benefits. So I think that you can unlock their imaginations and unlock the objects in a really creative and imaginative way. Um, Unlocked has brought us really closely together, particularly within the learning departments, to look at how um, there can be participative opportunities for audiences beyond the audience that will come and see things, but actually to take part and to respond to something. At the Minories, as part of Colchester School of Art, that we love to collaborate, to have lots of youngsters in doing things that are clearly kind of well planned well thought through, creative and interesting and stimulating for them is a good thing. I'm here today to make some 3D artworks with the visitors to the Museum Art School. I think it's nice that there's actually somewhere where people can sit and contemplate what they've seen and then themselves express something through that experience. It gives people a different way into the pieces, you know, I think it's slightly more intimate than just going around looking. You're able to touch and and, and make, which I think is very important. Look at this, like I said before, all this, all this cardboard, you can make something with them. Isn't this just beautiful? They just jumped in, both feet first, it was brilliant. We did our first introductory moment, just introducing ourselves, and the hands were going up, and they were coming up with stories and ideas based on the objects the museum had, had brought in, and um, really, they haven't, they haven't dipped. It's been great. <laughs> I am the powerful inventor of all time. <laughs> My greatest invention is this scarecrow that can walk and talk. What we've done is we've created a short piece of what happened in the olden days and we described a character. You always go around the museum and when you always go around it's always the same and you just think it and that's nice for today like you can go out and you can see our plate. I think yeah. it's very adventurous yeah. um, using your imagination instead of just looking at it in one way. It was a really good opportunity to be able to do something like this. We were contacted by the museum to create a short game about the new Unlocked collection based on all the objects and take them and then completely change what they're meant to be used for. Um, we came to uh, First Sight and the Minories to uh, work on our site specific uh, module which is a new module this year. It was really interesting to see them work with um, objects that were in front of them. I really enjoyed it, it was really nice to just work in a different environment. I think I can say that on behalf of all the girls as well. It was just really nice to get away from like just a studio. I think a lot of the sort of work um, on this project is all about actually changing people's minds about museums. They're fun places, they're inspirational places. They're not just here to learn facts and figures and about the past, but it is a place where people can come on their own journey. And it's all about us showing as an organisation that we want people to come in and use this and theatre, dance, uh, write a poem, do whatever you like. But the whole idea is for us to make sure that people have that opportunity to have their own voice heard and their own stories heard.